Hello everybody, my name is Brianna and I'm a yoga educator. Today we're going to be going over a gentler yoga flow um, to practice for beginners, for advanced, whatever level you are. This is where you should be, you are where you need to be. Um, I, a little bit about me, my name is Brianna. I am an information technology major with an emphasis in cybersecurity and I graduate this November. Um, technically our graduation day is November 21st, which is slightly terrifying. <laughs> I've been teaching yoga for the last um, two years. Since 2018, I've been teaching yoga and I've grown a lot within my yoga practice. Um, if you ever want to learn more about yoga, I post about yoga every single day on Instagram and I actually have a YouTube channel. So if you ever have a busy lifestyle, you can always go to my YouTube channel. Um, but both of those are encompassed under the name the Naive Sage, which I like because it's an oxymoron because I'm a giant nerd. Um, naive as an N-A-I-V-E, and then Sage as in the wise old man. Um, <clears throat> but let's just go ahead and get started. Let's get down to business. I want you to go ahead. We're going to get started. We always start our yoga practice by getting grounded and setting into the present moment. Um, so what I want you to do is I want you to find an easy seat, Sukhasana. So let's crisscross applesauce if that's comfortable for you. If it's hard on your knees, you can have those legs extended out, whatever it is that works for you, I invite you to take that. And then we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start to create those lines of energy. So I want you to inhale shoulders up in the ears, exhale, roll them down and back, engaging your core, engaging that mulambanda. So mulambanda engagement. For ladies, that's a kegel. For men, it's clenching those sex organs up. So a lot of times, um, You'll hear it described as uh, trying to suck air up into the anus. Uh, I don't know a better way to describe that, but it's just clenching down there. Um, it's kind of like you want to create that line of energy so that if someone were to like punch your stomach or something, uh, you wouldn't end up um, hurting as much, <laughs> if that makes sense. And then we want to make sure we have a line of energy all the way from the root, which is where the mulambana is to the crown, the very top of the head. And we do this by stacking our boxes, having that proper posture here. Um, and that will protect our body as we are practicing yoga. You may notice I'm a little nasally today. I don't normally sound like this, but I am recovering from cold or allergies or maybe a mix of the both of them. I don't know. I'm clear headed, which is a positive. Last week it was, I was very groggy. So we're here and we are getting grounded by setting into our breath. So by this, I mean, I want you to take, to take inhales through the nose, deep inhales through the nose and deeper exhales through that nose. I want you to let the air brush across the back of the throat with each inhale and with each exhale. So you notice I'm creating this ocean sound, kind of like a Darth Vader sound. Um, sorry about that. Um, but what you want to do is you want to create that ocean sound or that Darth Vader sound because it really does help you set in to our yoga practice. Um, and it helps you stay mindful of your breath. If you don't do anything for these 40 minutes we've set out to practice yoga today, what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and I want you to practice that breath work. You can always practice breath work. It's always there for you and it helps you really get grounded and set into the present moment. Maybe you don't know what grounding is. Maybe you don't know what I mean by set into the present moment. Ask me questions, connect with me and I will be happy to answer these questions. Now, what I want you to do is tune into your Ujjayi breath, the ocean's breath, and keep taking those deep inhales through the nose and deeper exhales through that nose. Let the hands come down on the knees. You can have palms down for grounding or palms up for receiving. Just whatever feels right to you right now. And we're going to begin to bring our awareness into the present moment. I want you to notice the four corners of the room that you're in. Letting go of the past. Letting go of anything beyond these four walls because they don't serve you right now. You can pick them up when we're done. Letting go of that past because it just generates depression. Letting go of the future because it just generates anxiety. Taking deep inhales to the nose 
And deeper exhales to that nose. Another breath here. Beautiful. And then we're going to bring our awareness even closer. So maybe you're on a yoga mat. And you'll notice the four corners of the yoga mat. If you're not on a yoga mat, maybe just notice four points around you. And even closer to you. Taking a deep inhale to the nose. A deeper exhale. And as we're here, I invite you to let go of any expectations you made for today. So we're going to let go of the expectations we put on ourselves of how we're going to practice yoga today. We're going to let go of comparing ourselves to other people. So where you're at in your practice and where I'm at in my practice may be completely different. And as we're practicing yoga, I want you to honor your body and honor your body's needs by accepting that <clears throat> you may have more mobility than I do or less mobility. We're just going to accept it. We're going to honor our bodies by noticing that if you ever feel a sharp pain or a sensation that is painful, that we're going to come out of whatever asana it is. Asana means posture with breath because I want you to honor your body. And I want you to really create that union between the mind, body, and soul. That's what yoga is, is that union. And I want you to honor that union by respecting your boundaries. Now, from here, I want you to take a deep inhale, a deep exhale. And then I want you to notice the sensations of the body. I want you to just notice, don't fidget here. We're going to notice how we're feeling. We're going to notice what feels uncomfortable. We're going to notice what comes up, what thoughts come up. We're just going to accept them. Taking a deep inhale through the nose and a deeper exhale. I invite you to begin to set an intention for our practice today. Intention setting is just goal setting. It can be something simple like increasing mobility. It can be something spiritual. It can be something physical like you're trying to recover from an injury. Whatever it is that you decide to tune into, I invite you to inhale that intention into your practice. Maybe you don't know what intention you want to set into. And I invite you to simply set into the intention of being present. This is my go-to intention if I don't have a calling towards a different intention. Um, because it really helps me ground. Um, if you're type A like I am, that is normally what you need the most, is to simply be present. Um, or maybe you're stressed out and you want to tune into the intention of being present. Whatever it is. We're going to go ahead and inhale that intention in one more time. And exhale anything that does not serve our practice. Anything that doesn't serve you. Do this one more time. Deep inhale. Exhale anything that doubts. From here, I invite you to go ahead. We're going to go into a little bit of a warm-up. I want you to inhale those arms up above the head like you would in the morning for a morning stretch. Exhale and back down. Nice. Deep inhale, arms up. And exhale down. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Beautiful, you guys. From here, we're going to go to extend those arms up. I want you to engage the core. Engage that mulambana. Bring that chin to your chest. Take a deep inhale here. And deeper exhale. Three more breaths here. I'm going to take a sip of tea because, you know, I'm recovering from a cold, but I want you to continue to breathe for the next two breaths. Beautiful. Last breath here. Deep inhale through the nose. And deeper exhale. From here, we're going to go and bring left to your left shoulder. Taking a deep inhale here. And a deeper exhale, maybe feel a stretch along the neck and the trapeze muscles. Three more here. Two. Last breath, take that deep inhale through the nose. And deeper exhale, cross the chin and chest and go ahead and bring right ear, right shoulder. Taking a deep inhale. And a deeper exhale. Three more breaths. Deep inhale. Deeper exhale. 
two, deepest inhale, deepest exhale. Last one, deep inhale through the nose. And deep exhale. Go ahead and cross that chin to chest. We're going to start to make dynamic movements. I want you to find those semicircles here. Two more breaths, or two more circles, semicircles. From here, you can keep those semicircles going. Or maybe it's in your practice to go ahead and let that head roll all the way back. But again, you should never feel any sharp pain. So if this feels uncomfortable, don't do it. Maybe you're gonna do four circles in one direction and four in the other. Maybe next time you crush in the chest, you'll go ahead and begin to rotate in the other direction. Last one. And then find stillness at chin to chest. Go ahead and inhale up. From here, we're going to go into some side body stretches. I want you to go ahead and inhale those arms up into the air. We're going to exhale those arms up and over towards the right here. You can stay just like this. Maybe that hand touches the ground. As you breathe, take a deep inhale. And a deeper exhale. Three more breaths here. Two. Last one, deep inhale. And exhale it back up into center. Exhale up and over left this time. Nice. Three more breaths here. Two. Last one, deep inhale through the nose. Exhale it back, I'm gonna center. So now we're gonna do something funky. If you've taken my class before, we've never done this before. You're gonna inhale, arms up. Exhale up and over towards the right. Let that hand rest. And then what we're gonna do is, I call them chest dips. So you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna take a deep inhale. You're gonna exhale, you're gonna let that chest dip over that knee. And then inhale it back up. Mm-hmm. We'll do this three more times. Exhale, dip. Inhale up. Last one, or last two. Inhale up. Last one here, go and exhale dip. Inhale up. Exhale, bring it into center. You're gonna inhale right arm up and over. Exhale dip. Nice. <laughs> Three more here. Two, exhale dip. Inhale up, <coughs> last one. Inhale up, bring it in this center. Nice. Now, from here, what I want you to do is we're gonna go into our seated spinal twist. So you're gonna inhale, arms out. You're gonna exhale, chest goes over towards the right here. Left hand finds the right knee, right hand falls behind you and you're gonna look forward. Maybe if you want a little bit more sensation, you're gonna look over that right knee, but notice here we're engaging the core as we twist. So we're not pulling ourselves at all. We're just gently twisting and engaging the core. Four more breaths here. Three. Two. Last one, deep inhale. And exhale, release it in the center. You're gonna inhale, arms out. Exhale, you're gonna go towards the left, chest left, right hand, left knee, left hand falls behind you. So you engage in the core and twist. And stay just like this. You wanna look over the left shoulder. Whatever it is, it calls to you today. Two more breaths here, guys. Deep inhale. Deeper exhale. Last one. And exhale, go ahead and release it. Beautiful. All right, so from here, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna transition into child's pose. Um, 
well, first we'll do tabletop and then we'll do child's pose um, so that you guys will have the proper alignment. What I want you to do is I want you to find your tabletop. So tabletop, you're on your hands and knees. I want you to go ahead and make sure your index fingers are pointing towards the front. Knees are lined up with hips. Ankles, oh, wrists lined up with shoulders. And make sure you can fit two fists in between those knees here. And then I also want you to make sure you're pressing these three points of the hand into the earth. So you're kind of creating this cupping shape, shining the inner elbows towards the front. And then you notice maybe your shoulders kind of come apart. So I'll show you guys right now. Those shoulder blades kind of come apart here. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to start to take our cats and cows just to warm up the spine. I want you to inhale, find your cow pose, showing the heart towards the front, arch that back. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. So you guys are gonna do this for six more rounds of breath. I am going to take a sip of tea because I am having issues breathing. <laughs> Um, you guys have two more breaths here. <laughs> Alright, last breath. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And a, a deeper exhale. Halt the tummy. Pull the shoulder blades apart. I want you to stay in that cat pose. And begin to rock your shoulders to the left and to the right, opening up the back of the heart. Four more here. Three. Two. Last one, deep inhale. And exhale. So from here, we're gonna find our child's pose. What I want you to do is we're gonna take a wide leg of child's pose for a little bit of a hip opener. But let the knees spin the wide edges of the mat. Bring those big toes together. Take a deep inhale, exhale, those hips come back towards those heels. So some people will do their child's pose like this and it puts a lot of pressure and it jumps into your lower back. So that is puppy pose, but we're not taking puppy, we're taking child. So you should open up in the lower back. You shouldn't feel a dumping in the lower back. So I wanna bring our hips towards those heels as much as we possibly can. Now, from here, you can maybe walk the hands up and find your way into your child's. And Go ahead and let the forehead, the point in between the eyebrows, find its way onto the mat and massage into the mat. So what this does is that pressure on the penile gland helps you release. Um, I'm coming up just because of the mic um, and you know, those inversions. <laughs> Bring all the... Uh, <laughs> Sopli, um, which is Russian for snot, up. But we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna breathe here for eight more breaths, deep inhale, deeper exhale, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and go ahead and take that last breath, deep inhale through the nose, and deeper exit. So from here, we're going to go ahead, unless this is really hard on your knees. Um, I want you to go ahead, we're gonna go into a side body stretch. Now, this is your baby pose. If at any point during our yoga practice you feel like it's too much, take a child's pose. Nobody is ever going to judge you for modifying your practice to honor your needs. And if you have a yoga teacher ever that looks irritated that you're coming out of your the sequence that they're cueing because you need to honor your body and honor your boundaries, Honestly, don't take yoga with them anymore because it's um, 
yoga is about the union of the mind, body, and soul. So if you're having someone um, showing criticism for you, honoring your body, that is not a place you need to be. All right. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and with the right hand to the right of the mat, and bring that left hand either beside it or cross that left hand on top. Take a deep inhale and exhale into a left side body stretch. You feel a stretch along the left side body. Again, I'm going to come out of it because I'm feeling super nasally. But I want you to stay in it for six more breaths, and I'll help you cure your breath. We're going to take a deep inhale here and a deeper exhale. So I don't live home alone. I live with uh, my family. Uh, my little brother is in school right now, but for some reason he's, um, he's singing. Um, so if you ever hear any weird shouts or noises, chances are it's my little brother in the other room. Um, it's that uh, COVID lifestyle here, you guys. <clears throat> Anyways, three more breaths, deep inhale through the nose. Deeper exhale. Last two deep inhale through that nose. Take that deeper exhale. Last one deep inhale. And then exhale, go ahead and find that child's pose. Bring that left hand to the left of the mat. Right hand comes beside it or on top. Deep inhale, exhale into your right side body stretch here. Hmm. Okay, six more breaths here. Again, I'm coming out of it. You already know why. I'm. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one here, take a deep inhale and exhale. We're gonna go ahead and bring it into our center child's pose. So from here, we're gonna go ahead, we're just gonna walk it up back into your tabletop. Then I want you to go ahead. We're gonna make sure our knees, <laughs> knees, hips, and shoulders are lined up. I want you to go ahead, tuck the toes, turn the palms towards the front, Whoop. engage your core. Engage that moon bonding, you guys, so that line of energy all the way up. So I want you to notice here. This is me just hanging out, and this is when I engage. So you notice it's kind of like a little bit of a pelvic tuck. And you take a deep inhale. And exhale, we're going to bring the hips back towards the heels for a little bit of a toe stretch. So this can be really intense for some people, and if it's super intense, go ahead and modify it by letting the hands come in front of you. Um, but if you can handle it, if you can stick through it, we're going to go ahead and inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms up and over towards the right. Yes, beautiful. Maybe that hand comes down. Maybe it comes on that hip, wherever you are. Deep inhale. Deeper exhale. It's just two more breaths. Deep inhale. Deeper exhale. Last one here. Deep inhale. And exhale, bring it into center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, up and over left. Beautiful. Let that hand come down. And three more breaths here. Deep inhale. And deeper exhale. Two. Last one. Deep inhale. And exhale. Bring it center. Beautiful. Inhale. Arms up. And exhale. Go ahead and bring it back in the tabletop. Untuck the toes and bat the feet into the mat. Beautiful. Okay. From here, we're going to go into a shoulder stretch. So what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead to the ground in that left hand. Inhale, right arm up into the air. Exhale, we're going to thread the needle through. You're going to find your way onto that shoulder here. You're going to go and let the left hand walk to the top of the mat. Maybe bring the left foot back. Take a deep inhale. And a deeper exhale. So if that's too much, you can always just keep it modified. Maybe you want a little bit more of a hip opener and you're going to create a bind. So whatever it is that you are feeling, we're going to take it for me next. Six breaths. Five. Four. Three. Two. 
Last one here, deep inhale. Exhale, go ahead and ground that knee. Let the left hand come underneath. Inhale, right arm up into the air. Exhale, go ahead and ground it. From here, you're gonna go ahead and inhale, left arm up. Exhale, spread the knee. Beautiful, walk right hand to the top of the mat. Stay just like this, or maybe you wanna walk the right foot back. Maybe you wanna keep it grounded, create that bind, whatever you're doing here. I invite you to take it for the next six breaths. Four. Three. Two. The last one here, deep inhale. Exhale, go ahead and ground it. Go ahead and bring right hand underneath right shoulder, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, go ahead and ground it. Beautiful. So, from here, we're gonna push forward onto our tummy. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it. I'm not gonna stay in it, otherwise it's gonna mess up the mic. You're gonna go ahead and let the hands come out beside you. You're gonna let that chest ground here. And you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna look towards the right. Bring that right hand underneath the right shoulder. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, go ahead. Bring right heel, right hip, and open it up. Beautiful. You'll notice that you're feeling a stretch along the left shoulder. Eight more breaths here. And take that last breath here, deep inhale with the nose. And deeper exhale. Beautiful. So from here, you're just gonna twist it back onto your tummy. Then you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna find your way back into your tummy. And I want you to go bring both hands underneath both shoulders, both heels into both hips, and just windshield wipe the knees to the left and to the right. Beautiful. Opening up and kind of just resetting. So this is for me what feels most natural after doing that stretch. Because sometimes I've noticed my shoulder mobility has gone up a lot, but when I first started this, this was my least favorite pose because it's such a foreign sensation and it was such an um, intense stretch for me. All right, from here, you're gonna go out and extend those arms. Bring left hand underneath left shoulder, left heel to left hip, look towards the left, take a deep inhale here. Exhale, open it up and do your twisting. Cross, beautiful, you guys. And eight more breaths here. I'm gonna come out of it because you guys already know. <laughs> This is my timekeeper. This is literally my old phone that I use as a work phone. <coughs> so, timekeeper because it um, keeps a, uh, <coughs> sorry, it keeps track of time. And it's where I put all the content I post on, honestly. I put it on that one instead of my other phone because my other phone, I feel like um, I'd rather have it to have pictures of my, my cats and my family and everybody. Yeah. Three more breaths here, you guys. Take a deep inhale. Deeper exhale. Two. Two. 
and take that last breath. Deep inhale through the nose. And deeper exhale. Beautiful. Go ahead and bring it back onto your tummy. It's like I showed you. Go ahead and bring both hands underneath both shoulders. Both heels and both hips in windshield way for the feet to the left and to the right. Beautiful. Okay. I'm looking at the time. Awesome. So from here, we're going to close our practice. So today's class was very gentle. Um, it's kind of a reminder that you don't have to make really large movements to get a full yoga practice. So always honor your body and honor your knees. But I want you to do is I just want you to transition into where you're lying on your back. So you'll go from tummy all the way onto your back. <clears throat> from here, what I invite you to do is I invite you to go ahead and bring both heels towards both hips, both hands by both uh, <clears throat> hips. And when you'll wipe the knees to the left and to the right, opening up that lower back. Um, I'm gonna move my mic because I don't want to crush it. <clears throat> yeah, all right. But windshield wiping those knees and breathing here, turning back into our intention. And just giving yourself a nice little kidney massage. From here, go ahead and bring the knees into the chest. Maybe windshield wiping the knees to the left and to the right, opening up that lower back. From here, we're gonna go into our supine twist. So what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and extend those arms out beside you. And go ahead and keep the left shoulder grounded and exhale knees up and over towards the right here. And breathing. I want you to take eight more breaths. I'm gonna come up because, believe it or not, when you're recovering from a cold or when you have you know, nasal blockages, slight inversions are what you should do because um, they help open up um, and kind of help you release toxins. But because you are doing an inversion, all that icky stuff is coming out, which is great but not great for teaching. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, if you're ever curious about it, um, I'm actually posting a YouTube video about it. Um, so connect with me and I'll help you. Um, but <sighs> six more breaths here. Okay, two more deep inhale through the nose. And deeper exhale. And take that last breath here, deep inhale through that nose. And exhale. From here, I want you to go ahead and bring them back onto your backs. And then we're gonna go ahead, this time we're gonna keep that right shoulder ground and exhale knees over towards the left. Last breath, deep inhale. Exhale, bring it back onto your backs. Beautiful. From here, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take our happy baby. We're gonna go ahead and grab the feet with the hands and rock the feet to the left and to the right. So notice you can grab the outsides and the feet, the insides of the feet. You can send two peace signs out to the world, wrap them around those big toes. So whatever you feel like doing. 
<clears throat> and we're gonna breathe here for 16 breaths. So this is a little bit of a hip opener. Um, I'm gonna come up, but I want you to stay in it. Uh, I tend to say six, eight breaths um, because that is a minute if you're using your yogic breathing. Uh, for my yogic breathing, it tends to be like inhale for a count of four, exhale six. Um, when you exhale longer than your inhale, you'll notice that you um, are allowing your body to let go of any of the ish you don't need. Uh, it helps you release those toxins. Um, as far as what toxins are, you get toxicity in your everyday life. Um, I mean, it kind of depends on how you want to define it, but just eating unhealthy foods is a way to get and build up toxicity in the body. Um, if you want to go um, more into the other realms of how you can create toxicity in the body, being surrounded by um, electronics all the time, having to constantly look at your computer, ironically, uh, is a way to build up toxicity in the body. Um, so I highly recommend if you're ever feeling insomnia or feeling like you can't rest to put all electronics in like the opposite corner and just sit there and do something you enjoy like journaling uh drawing painting reading um but do something that helps you reset that's not related to um the electronics you can always um play with plants <laughs> like uh, gardening and whatnot. That's another way to reset. Playing with an animal. Um, and you go on a walk. Um, of course, it's maybe have your phone near you, but don't actively engage with the telephone if you're going on a walk, just because uh, safety precautions and everything. But go and stay here for six more breaths. Deep inhale. Deeper exhale. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Deep inhale. And exhale. Now, from here, I want you to find Shavasana. So, Shavasana, you're going to go ahead, you're going to line your back. Um, and you're going to keep the feet extended forward and hands come down by the hips. You can have palms down for grounding, palms up for receiving. If this puts a lot of pressure on that lower back, you can bend the knees, uh, kind of bring the feet out to the wide edges of the mat, bring the knees together. Uh, whatever calls for you here. I am not going to cue you through Shavasana just because I'm not playing music right now. And um, it, it, honestly, it'd be really... Um, counterintuitive to cue you guys through Shavasana right now. Um, so I highly recommend that you take a Shavasana. So you've had two options. You can center by using a timer um, or you can use my all-time favorite song uh, for Shavasana, which is Shanti. Um, and then in parentheses, it says Peace Out by MC Yogi. Um, a really good song. Um, it always works for me, but it, it'll work right at the end. So typically I'll use two songs, uh, that song to get me into the headspace and then another song to stay in that headspace. But regardless of what you do, um, you got two ways to be in Shavasana. Your first way is to focus on a mindfulness meditation, which is just counting your breaths. You inhale, count one, exhale two, inhale three, exhale four, and count all the way up to 10 and simply repeat. Um, or you can use a visualization meditation. You can visualize a healing light collecting at the crown of the head, collecting into a sphere, working its way down your body, healing any pain or ailments you may have in the process. Um, and those are the two go-tos that I use for a Shavasana. And that's it, you guys. I highly recommend you take Shavasana. Um, be light in me, honor the light in each and every one of you. 
and together we bow forward and say namaste. Namaste, you guys, and be well.